all coming out. Oh, oh dear. Oh no, gonna oh. have to lick that. Oh, <laughs> There's a little mixture in that bowl still. Is that for you to eat? Hello and welcome to the RAF Cook Along. My name is Hope Ellen and today I'm joined by Deck, who is going to show us how to make chocolate fudge brownies. Oh, so Deck, first and foremost, what have we got here that we need? So we've got dark chocolate for the brownies. We've got butter, sugar, flour, eggs, and a bit of salt. Not a lot of things at all? No, not a lot of things. First question, dark chocolate, not for everyone's taste. No. I like it. I know it can be a little bit healthier than like milk chocolate. Yeah. Can you use alternatives? Yeah, you can use alternatives. And you could also incorporate other things like Oreos inside the mix, Smarties, just anything you want. Sweeten it up. Have a bit of fun. Yeah. Love it. Okay, first thing to do then. So first we're going to line the tin. So we've got Definitely a bit of, this. yep, I'm going to get a bit of oil on the bottom. So one, if you want to place the Me do parchment, it. yeah, you can do it. Place the parchment paper in, make sure all the edges are covered. So, so it's over the top, so oh. the brownie mixture won't stick to the tin. Okay. And for total novices, why do we line the tray? Uh, just so you can, once it's cooked and on the uh, cooling rack, you can just easily pull it out of the tin without obviously breaking it or... Perfect. Yeah, so. So next step, we're gonna melt the chocolate and the butter over a bay marie Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go over here. So, stick the butter on the top of the chocolate. You used the phrase that I'm probably gonna murder. What did you say, brain marie Bain marie Bain marie yeah. what is that? It basically is hot water, just steaming under the pan, just to heat up the pan. And obviously it's not on direct heat, so it won't burn. It's, it's a different method of melting down ingredients. Very sophisticated word, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. When did you learn that? Uh, through my training. Through your training. So of course, we're here at the Royal Air Force. Yep. When did you learn that? Uh, oh. when, I, when I went through my phase two special, specialization training, um, it was a 12 week course where I learned every tips and tricks on different methods to do, cut different ingredients and different methods of cutting. Just everything you can learn, your basic skills to become a chef. Cool. So this is quite basic then? Yeah, this people is quite basic. Okay. Well, the butter is melting very nicely yeah. there. And the so, chocolate. So while that's melting, yeah. we're gonna mix the eggs and the sugar. So I'm uh, coming back over there. Yeah, we're okay. coming back over here. <laughs> So All if you want to crack the eggs into the, uh, the hand bowl. How many are we using? Uh, five. Five. five eggs. Have we got a waste bowl? Uh, we'll just put them back into the, oh, okay. uh, the... And of course, eggshells can go in compost, can't they? Yes, they can. One. I'll just have a look at this while you do it. So chocolate fudge brownies. How are your uh, first time making these? Did they go well? Uh, yeah. yeah, I've made them a fair few times, uh, different recipes each time, but um, it's, you just got to keep doing recipes and di trying different things till you get where you want to, how you want your brownies to be. So this is a very good recipe for brownies. So if you'd like to add the sugar, add the sugar and while beating the mixture so it comes smooth. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so do you prefer making sweet things rather than savoury or do you like doing a bit both? I, I do prefer savoury yeah? dishes, but I do like sweet dishes as well. And what's your favourite thing to cook? I honestly like doing a homemade sausage roll. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Am I doing this right? Yeah, so keep whisking it and whisking it till it's smooth consistency and all blended in. How's the chocolate doing over there? Yeah, it's slowly melting. So this is making 24, isn't it? Uh, no, so I've halved all the mixture, okay. so it'll come out as uh, 12. Oh, okay. And I suppose if you've done a whole tray, you could cut them however small or large you wanted them for different quantities, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you can. So... There you go, Deck, you take over. <laughs> so before joining the Royal Air Force, did you do a lot of cooking at home? 
Uh, I came from a little catering background, so before I joined the RAF, I uh, the RAF, sorry, I um, was uh, I did a bit of outside catering, helping. I wasn't a chef myself, but I was more front of house. So I was like serving customers and waiting. Yeah, and then I was I would help the chefs every now and then, and that got me into liking cooking more. And then that's where I got my love for cooking. So. So you obviously came to the Royal Air Force with experience of work in hospitality. Has that helped you? Um, yeah, it has. It's given me a couple of basic skills and then I enhanced my skills when I went through my training to then now where I am today. Now you're an expert. <laughs> cool, so that looks good. So that, that's fully mixed. Yep. we just got to wait for the chocolate and the, the butter to melt. And once that's done, we will take that off the stove bring that over here, mix it all together, and then fold in the flour. You mentioned putting um, Oreos or Smarties. At what stage would you do that? So when you're about to mix it all the ingredients together, that's when I'd add in. Before you fold the flour? Yeah, before you fold the flour in. So now I'm gonna mix. Oh, I wanna lick that spoon. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a pinch of salt as well. Yeah. Okay, you're stirring it in. You want the mixture. That chocolate smells so good. Fully incorporated, and then this is where we fold in our flour. Okay, are we going over back over there? Yeah, we'll be going back over there. And we'll meet you there. Move this out the way. Wow, look at that. So, I'd let you do this bit. Okay. So put in a little bit of flour at a time. And you're gonna fold and I'll fold. I'll fold, you Teamwork? You put, yeah, okay. there we go. Is teamwork something you do often at the RAF? Um, yeah, so I work with a team all the time, like every day, different shifts. Um, if you just keep pouring and I'll just keep okay. folding. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm always working with a team. If I wasn't working with a team, it would be extremely difficult with the amount of people we have to feed on a daily basis. So it's good to have a good teamwork skills and a good team around you. Yeah. With the team side of things as well, I know there's lots of sports and activities to get involved in. Yeah. Um, do you do any of the forces? Yeah, um, I currently do uh, mountain rescue on the, oh, wow. yeah. So I go back up to um, RF Lehman and uh, yeah, sometimes I go on weekends away with Matt Rescue and uh, like enhance my skills on how to save people up in the mountains. Oh, this is looking good. <laughs> it's really thick, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's quite interesting we didn't sieve the flour. Uh, you can sieve the flour. Um, it's better to sieve the flour beforehand because then you don't get grainy lumps in your mixture. I did sieve the flour beforehand, oh, so. Okay. So hot tip, <laughs> sieve your flour, even though you didn't see us do it. So that's all in, oh, sorry. Now that's all incorporated. We'll uh, tip it into our line what tip. What can I do to, oh, it's all coming out. Oh, oh dear. Oh no, I'm gonna oh. have to lick that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you uh, place you sure? the mixture into right, the, uh, just... I don't know where to put that now. Just scrape it. I shouldn't have done that, should I? <gasps> My hands are clean. Okay. Oh, wow. Smells so good. Cool, lovely. Right, now over to the oven and stick it in at 160. For how long? Uh, I'd do it about 20 minutes. Cool. So. 160, 20 minutes. And as Tech mentioned earlier, the oven has been preheating, which ensures that it's ready to go. It's gonna be nice and quick as a process and it's gonna cook evenly. I've probably got some cleaning up to do, Deck. Yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, so while that's in the oven, we'll wash our hands and we will clean up our area. All right, so now the brownie's done. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna put it onto the whiteboard. Yep. And then we'll cut it up and just plate it up from there. Right, I'll hold this for you. So it's come out of the oven, you've cooled it. 
for a while. Oh, it's lovely crumbly. Put it open. Oh, it smells amazing. Now, um, there's not too much to this recipe, which is why we love it so much. So I'm going to pick your brains about apprenticeships here at the okay. Royal Air Force. You started off on an apprenticeship, didn't you? Yes, I Tell did. us about your journey. So first I went online, and then, then I went to the hub. Um, and then from there, I went in to the where the hub's based and sat down, went through a defence aptitude test. And um, from there, talking the stages through what I need to do and what I need to pass to uh, become a chef. Uh, it's hard to concentrate on your yeah, journey really, when you're cutting something that looks so delicious and so gooey. Um, so when you've done your apprenticeship, firstly, why did you choose an apprenticeship over something else? Uh, did you go to choose not to go to university? Did you not want a normal job? What, what was it that appealed to you about an apprenticeship search? Um, the apprenticeship aspect that I liked was you're learning while you work like earning, if that makes sense. So I obviously had no skills whatsoever and I wanted to learn, but it's hard to go into a job and ask for a job. I want to learn and get paid at the same time. and it, it, So it was the best route for me. It's difficult when you don't think you've got experience to back up what you want to do, yeah. isn't it? So it's a stepping stone. Yeah. And with that stepping stone, did you get any qualifications? Yeah, so the qualifications I gained over the time of my phase two training was level two food and safety. Then I got level two nutrition and level two health and safety. And they, you, they will carry you through your whole career, won't they? Yeah. No matter what you decide to do. Um, there's a couple... I'm just going to plate this up. I'm going to move it over here so we can see it, actually. It looks so gooey. There's a couple each year I go over, like food and safety, just to make sure I'm fully trained. Well, I suppose things can change as well, can't they? Like a scientist can discover something new about yeah. bacteria or... And new allergens and just making sure you're up to standards with your food as food qualifications. Cool, look at that. Woo yeah. woo! Is it time to taste? Yes it is. Right. Let's be polite. Here's your fork. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna try and get a gooey one. Um. Wow. <laughs> that was very nice. I knew they were going to be nice because they dropped the brownies, but the fact that it was so easy and quick to make, it's surprising how delicious they are. Exactly, yeah. Oh, I normally rate these out of five. I'm going to have to give this a seven. <laughs> I really am. Dick, thank you so much for showing us how to make the chocolate fudge brownies. You're welcome. And for talking all about apprenticeships. You're welcome. Cheers. My brother-in-law, this is weird, he has his curry with pasta. Mmm. Doesn't like rice. Something I have to try.